Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing and rapidly evolving topic, the Philippine Navy's exploration of unmanned surface vehicles, USVs. With recent developments and reports hinting at ongoing evaluations and partnerships, it's time to take a closer look at what's been happening behind the scenes. Current evaluations and proposals over the past year, the Philippine Navy has been actively evaluating several USV proposals. These evaluations include platforms from Israel, South Korea, and the United States. Sources suggest that the Navy currently possesses an undisclosed number of USVs, though it's unclear whether these are already part of their fleet or just for testing purposes. Among the USVs being evaluated is the Martak Mantas T-12, which was reportedly spotted a few months ago. U.S. assistance and potential models the United States Department of Defense is also preparing to supply the Philippine Navy with USVs as part of its military assistance program. While it's still unknown which models the U.S. might provide, there are strong indications that they could be from Martak, possibly the Mantas T-12 or the larger Devil Ray series, known for their capabilities in asymmetric warfare. International offers in addition to U.S. contributions, Turkey has also shown interest in providing USVs to the Philippine Navy. They previously offered the ULAQ Combat USV, which could have been included if ASFAT's bid for the offshore patrol vessel project had succeeded. Ultimately, that contract went to Hyundai Heavy Industries, but the Turkish offer remains a significant part of the conversation. Local development and the SRDP law, with the Strategic Research and Development Program SRDP, law now in effect, local companies have an opportunity to enter the USV market. Feedback from Defense Industry Insider suggests that several Philippine firms are eager to develop homegrown USVs. The success of the Philippine Coast Guard's locally made USV, produced by a Zambales-based company, could serve as a blueprint for the Navy. The Philippine Navy's interest in USVs represents a shift towards embracing modern, versatile platforms for maritime security. With evaluations ongoing and local companies stepping up to innovate, we can expect more updates in the coming months. What do you think of the Philippine Navy's USV plans? Will they opt for foreign partnerships, or will we see a local breakthrough? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things defense and maritime.